Hi Taurus, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross watching for a Taurus, the energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. My intention Taurus for this reading is to nourish you. This is to empower you. I do other style readings, so if you're new to my channel, you can go check those out. But this week, I wanted to give you some nourishment for your soul. Thank you guys so much for hitting that like button, as it does help support the channel. I really appreciate it. So, Taurus, when I first started tapping into your energy, they showed, they showed me a snake shedding its skin. And they told me this is you. So I feel like you're going through a transformation. Yes, you're going through another transformation. And so some of you guys are resisting it a little bit, but some of you guys are smoothly allowing this old self to shed. And with this Taurus, I feel like there's also going to be people, places, and things, right, that shed along with it. Okay. Okay. There's also a message here, Taurus, about you dropping something. Yeah, interesting. Knight of Pentacles. So this is about having patience with yourself and being mindful to me um, as a reader. I feel like there's an energy of you dropping something and it having a metaphorical meaning like if you drop your cell phone, let's say your phone falls or it falls off the bed or it drops right out of your hands, that is your higher self telling you to consume less technology. And so I feel like when that happens, it's because you're supposed to be focusing on your goals here because you guys have uh, certain goals that you're wanting to put effort, time, and energy into. Or this could be like knowing that you shouldn't, you shouldn't consume something, like you shouldn't eat something and then you drop it. That is your higher self reminding you of your goals and reminding you to practice mindfulness with everything right now, okay? So I feel like the next seven to nine days, it's very important for you to stay on track if you're wanting to accomplish something. But it's also important to have patience with yourself. So it's like when you make a mistake, when you feel like, when you feel like you've had a setback, it, it's about being gentle with yourself and kind to yourself because we make mistakes, okay? Um, the beauty about mistakes, though, is we can also learn from those mistakes. And so this really is be, <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's okay. Like, if you make a mistake, it's okay. Because it's like, now you know. When you make a mistake, you know better. So I feel like there's an energy here of you knowing better. Um... And I'm hearing now you know. That's what's popping up into my head. Now you know. And also Bob Ross. If you guys are familiar with Bob Ross, whenever he made a mistake on his painting, he's like, I think he called them happy accidents. Or he's like, they're birds now. <laughs> so that's really what I'm getting is to have patience with yourself, Taurus, when you do make the mistakes. And, and also just understand that if had you not made that mistake, you wouldn't know. And it's like, now you know. Let's see. Spirit, what else for Taurus, please? What else for Taurus? Taurus. I'm going to put Malachi up. He is, well, this is what he's doing. <laughs> so um, he's just a kitten though, guys. So he just really wants some love. Give me one second. I know, I know. But I'm not starting the reading over because I'm not doing that. Okay, let's see. So 
let's see. King of Swords. This is about structure. It could be air energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, Gemini or Libra. So there could be some sort of scheduling or organization that would be very beneficial for you right now. This is also about being mindful, knowing the facts, right? The King of Swords, he's intelligent. He knows the facts. He's actually logical. He's all about the facts. And so it's like whatever you're wanting to accomplish here, just be real with yourself and know the facts of the situation. That's what's going to get you further. And having some sort of structure here. Then we have the Eight of Cups here. Okay. Sorry about that. Very interesting. So it's like walking towards something that's better for you. But in order to, okay, so there is a new pathway opening, Taurus, but with the Eight of Cups, in order for this pathway to be presented to you, you may have to walk away from something, and that's going to not feel good. But it's like, you know, with the King of Swords, like, if you get real with yourself, you know that you do need to walk away from something, or someone, or whatever this is, okay? Whatever, you know, your specific thing is that you are knowing that you need to let go of, you need to drop or consume less. You know it. It's telling me now you know, you know better. <laughs> I just keep getting like, you know better. And the Eight of Cups, I mean, this can be a scary thing because I feel like some of you guys, you know you need to walk away from something, but you don't necessarily know what you're walking into, walking away from whatever this thing is or what whoever this is. And so that can be very scary. Seven of Swords. And we, okay, we, we sabotage ourselves, Taurus, when we know better and we do against what we know. Does that make sense? That's what's coming out in your reading. I just keep hearing like, you know better. Or now you know. And it's also not being too hard on yourself for repeating a mistake. It's just like acknowledge that you know the facts in the situation and walk away from whatever keeps disappointing you or whatever keeps holding you back. And there's like an energy here of, I don't, I don't want this to sound too harsh, but it's an energy of like, maybe you're so used to having other people hurt you or betray you that you could potentially be betraying yourself here. And maybe somewhere subconsciously, that's what's going on and you're not necessarily realizing that, but it's just, okay. I just feel like, you know, there's an energy here of you knowing better. Some of you guys, it's a matter of somebody hurting you over and over again that you know you need to walk away from. This person does not provide you with any sort of structure, okay? Uh, any sort of stability. And th there's absolutely no logical reason to continue to be with someone that keeps causing you mental conflict. And again, this could be a job too for some of you. So just take it how it resonates. But I just feel like you're incredibly loyal to people. You're incredibly loyal to people, places, and things. Yeah, look at that. King of Pentacles. You are. You're very loyal. And there's this message here to know the facts and acknowledge that now it's time to be loyal to yourself. Now it's time to take your good energy and keep it for yourself. Because there may be people around you that you're giving all this good energy to that would step on you to cross a puddle, okay? And I'm not saying everyone in your life's like that. It just kind of feels like you're giving such good energy to a situation that is meant for you to walk away from, meant for you to drop. But it's not knowing what's in front of you that makes it so scary. Like if you were to leave it... Ace of Pentacles. Well, you know where you're walking into a new beginning, a fresh start. 
In this particular deck, the Ace of Pentacles talks about luck. And so I actually feel like here in the future, there's a message of you being some type of mentor or leader and gaining acknowledgement for that. And I feel like there could be some type of benefits or raise coming your way, especially at the workplace. Because you are being seen as someone that has structure. And now if you are wanting some type of raise, this is all about not letting other people sabotage that for you. Sabotage this promotion for you, okay? This is all about you having structure and knowing how to separate yourself from energies that will not benefit your promotion, okay? And this could just be promotion in life. So it's it's kind of like, you know, you have this goal here, Taurus, that you want to accomplish. But you may need to walk away from something that's draining your energy, that's taking all your good energy, that's sabotaging this goal that you know you're capable of accomplishing. We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is about your dreams. There's something here you want for yourself, Taurus, that you've been putting on the back in the back seat. That you you know better. You've been putting it in the back seat. There's this dream of yours you want to chase. There's this goal, this particular goal you want. And in order to get it, it takes having it, it takes knowing the facts and using this knowledge to walk away from things that are sabotaging you from achieving what it is you want to achieve. The Knight of Cups is a great card, but when it's underneath the Seven of Swords, I feel like the Knight of Cups can have a tendency to be gullible and be easily persuaded into backtracking and not accomplishing what it wants to accomplish. So be very mindful of the people around you who want you to stay on their level and want you to stay where they're at. And again, they're not going to come right out and say this, okay? We have the Nine of Swords. Talks about mental conflict. Now, specifically, there could be some of you Torrens. There, there are a group of you Torrens that may have a choice between two suitors. Okay, is what I'm seeing for some of you guys, and that could be creating mental conflict. The advice I have on that is to separate yourself from this for now and focus on yourself, focus on your goals. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, where you're going, Taurus, you're going towards stability, free, like independence, freedom. I, I just feel like there's an energy here of you being very grateful that you faced whatever sort of uncomfortability you faced in the future. So it's like, this may be scary to head off in this new direction. It's a little disappointing. It's very uncomfortable. There, there might be some restless nights here, some worries, some fear. But then it's like the Nine of Pentacles coming right after that. Then you become this solid person, this wise, solid person. And the Nine of Pentacles, she's very self-sufficient and doesn't need anyone. And I feel like that's very important to be aware of. We have the Three of Cups. Okay, so it all coming together. Now let me tell you something about this Three of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck, Five of the Swords. But let's go back to this Three of Cups for a second. So acknowledge, excuse me, acknowledge the people in your life with the Three of Cups that don't want good things for you. That's what you need to do right now. You need to acknowledge who they are. And those are the people that you need to walk away from. I'm not saying you have to permanently walk away from these people. I'm not saying that at all. You use your own discernment with that. What I am saying is you need to distance yourself from people who prevent you from achieving your goals. Because the people who want to sabotage you with the seven of swords, the people who want to keep you from being successful in, the, in, certain, in a certain area of your life, those are not true friends. 
And those are the type of people that will stay at the bottom. And you're having a choice right now. Do you want to stay at the bottom with them or do you want to elevate? And anybody who... Anybody who tries to persuade you off track, anybody who puts you in this Nine of Swords like energy, this is disrupting your mental health here, okay? Anyone who disrupts your mental health, they've got to go. They've got to go. Because there's always more people that you will feel a deeper and better connection with in the future. There, it, there, there's always more. I can promise you that it might not look like it in the moment and might not feel like it. And sometimes we have to be the nine of pentacles. Sometimes we have to be by ourselves. Sometimes we have to focus on ourselves and our personal goals, walk away from things that are not serving us and look at the bigger picture here, become a solid sense of self before we meet people who are just like us and people who want good things for us and people who celebrate us. Instead of trying to knock us down and instead of trying to persuade us off track. Because there's always better people. I hate saying it like that, but I'm just saying like never think that the people you, like the group of people you're around now is like the best it'll get. Because that's just absolutely not true. As you raise your vibration, you might be alone for like a hot second here. And you might have to stand on your own and be alone and be that lone wolf. And that might be a little scary to some with the nine of swords, but it's like, after you deal with these internal demons, you're going to be put in alignment with better things and better people. Bottom of the deck for what you don't see. We have the five of swords. This is your goal. If you were to accomplish something, it's, it's very threatening to some people. It makes them uncomfortable that you want more for yourself. And that's why they're going to try to persuade you off track. So you have to be very mindful of that. Spirit, give me an oracle message, please, for Taurus. If you are wondering, I am using... The Wisdom of Avalon Oracle Cards, for those of you that ask about this. Okay, here we go. We have a couple that flew over. Wow. So, first card we have is protection. You need to protect yourself. You need to protect what is valuable to you. This new self, okay? Okay. You need to protect who you're becoming. Protect him or her at all cost. The person, this, because you're going through a transformation, Taurus, and you need to protect this person that you can be in the future. This goal, you need to protect it at all costs, okay? Because it means a lot to you, and you really want it for yourself, okay? And then we have the deer. So this is all about gentleness, it's also about diplomacy, but let me tell you, the deer, this is about being gentle with yourself when you do make a mistake. Be gentle with yourself. And also, uh, don't mistake gentleness for weakness. Okay? And then diplomacy, it's kind of like when people try to bring conflict into your life. I feel like you do have the ability, because you're so understanding and emotionally intelligent here, I feel like you have the ability to see all sides and you get life, you get people. And so it's kind of like you may be someone who is that too easily forgive because you are so understanding. Um, so just be mindful of that. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's okay to love unconditionally, but be mindful who you're giving all your good energy to. And then we have the wasp. This talks about anger. Talks about retaliation and jealousy. So you got to be mindful of the people that don't want good things for you, Taurus. The people who we care about sometimes don't want good things for us. And it could be out of their own personal anger. It could be out of their own jealousy towards you. And in the bottom of the deck, it says letting go. So, you know, that's all about when you're trying to manifest something for yourself, you know, putting in the work 
and then feeling all of those good feelings, okay, that it would feel to have this goal accomplished is going to be very benefit for you, beneficial for you. But also remember to let go of expectation. That is the key to manifestation, is letting go of a certain outcome. And I promise you, that's when it all manifests for you, okay? Um, but yeah, be very mindful of the people who view your, you as a threat. Be very mindful of the people who try to manipulate you, the people who think they're smarter than you. I feel like you're, you're aware of who they are. Because it's like, some of you guys may have love for these people. You have like this certain diplomacy about you. Like you understand, you, 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 you could be like a psychology major or there's just something inside of you that the way you were raised, you understand how people's emotions can affect their um, actions. But I want to tell you, you cannot get persuaded with the Knight of Cups to fall off track of these goals. Because that's going to cause more mental conflict than anything. Because you're going to feel like you were manipulated into staying small. And that's not owning your power. You have to be very mindful of people who don't want what's best for you. And you need to separate yourself from those people. We have a tower here underneath that five of swords because you're going to have this moment, this epiphany, regardless that somebody does not have your best interest at heart. And you can either acknowledge it now and take action on your own free will or that tower will come in and it's not going to be as easily controllable. It says surrender to rest and sleep. So to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. And I am feeling like you need some alone time. I am feeling like you need some space. You need some space right now. Um, and the people who love you will understand that you need this space. You need this space for self-care. Resting is self-care. Okay. Um, some of you guys may even need a mental health day. That's very important. Um, it's very important for us to take control of our mental health and to, you know, even if we have to tell an employer, right, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, your mental health matters most than anything, right? I want to get one more card for you. Surrender your fear of intimacy. It says you are ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So some of you guys may have, that's the transformation you may be going through. Okay, and, and what I'm feeling for this is maybe some of you guys have a hard time letting people in, whether this is family, friends, or, or just lovers in general, or maybe you have a hard time speaking your needs. And I feel like it's very important for your mental health um, to speak your needs to people. Don't be afraid to speak your needs and wants. Don't be afraid to tell someone your love language. Don't be afraid to say no even, right, when you don't want to do something, okay? It's very important for you to speak up. And that does require a certain level of vulnerability when we actually speak, hey, this is what I need. This is what I want is what I'm getting from this card with the rest of the cards that are out to us. So I hope this provided you with some level of clarity. If the messages did not resonate with you, be sure to check your other signs. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button as it does help support the channel. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, bye.